Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If entering a partial customer payment, begin by selecting Customers, then Receive Payments from the menu bar to open the Receive Payments window. Select the name of the customer or customer job from the Received From dropdown. Enter the partial payment date, amount, and payment method at the top of this window, just as when accepting a full payment. Unpaid invoices will appear at the bottom of the window. If you want QuickBooks to attribute the payment to anything other than the oldest invoice, you would click the Unapply Payment button that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window to clear the check marks from the selected invoices. In the listing of unpaid invoices, you can click into the rightmost white column and change the amount applied to the desired invoice by typing the partial payment amount. In QuickBooks, entering a partial payment also allows you to select either the Leave This as an Underpayment or Write Off the Extra Amount Option buttons at the bottom of the screen. You may want to use this feature to write off the extra amount if a customer accidentally shorted you by a small amount that is not worth rebilling. By default, though, Leave This as an Underpayment is selected and you will be able to receive payments on that invoice again in the future. When finished, click either the Save and Close or Save and New buttons to save the transaction and accept the partial payment amount. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.